Welcome back. You know, Freddie Gillespie's story is one of hope, perseverance, and incredible work ethic. He defied the odds by becoming one of the best players in the entire Big 12. His college career might have ended, but that doesn't mean his story is finished. It's kind of like surreal almost when I think about where I came from. His story has inspired many. A Division III player who walks on to Baylor University, eventually earns a scholarship, and becomes one of the best defensive players in the Big 12. Even despite, you know, it maybe what my reality was at that time and what maybe others saw, you know, every day I have to believe, okay, like, you know, this is something that, that can't happen, and um, despite what it, what it may look like now. In high school and at Carleton College, Freddie wore the jersey number 55 because he felt the sky was a limit. When Freddie transferred to Baylor, he wore the number 33 in honor of Scotty Pippen, who was also a former Division I walk-on at Central Arkansas. Yeah, I always thought he was undervalued and underrated. Um, but all I'd say is, so when I found that out, it kind of gave me some inspiration and um, some motivation. Kind of helped that kind of his that looking at his story helped me throughout my year. Um, so after that year, you know, I told the coach I want to go to 33. I'm um, kind of just you know pay homage to that. Since the college basketball season ended. Freddie became the first player named Big 12 Men's Basketball Scholar Athlete of the Year and most improved player in Baylor history. Now, he's open to add another trophy to his collection, Big 12 Athlete of the Year. There are a lot of, you know, great candidates that, that, that would have, you know, that could have represented Baylor, um, you know, for, for in, in this, in, in this, I mean, for that award. Um, but you know, so I'm happy and it's an honor and it's a privilege to, 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 be, to be the one that they, that they uh, went with. Gillespie has now focused his attention to getting prepared for next month's NBA draft. I had a lot of ideas of, of what the draft might look like before uh, this pandemic, um, but uh, so and none of that happened, so um, that's fine. But you know, just being adaptable, that's the, that's the biggest thing I've found, you know, sometimes the, the dates are fluid, you know, you don't know where you might end up, what might happen, what might not happen, but just being adaptable and ready for any situation. Gillespie says he's talked with at least 11 NBA teams so far. Different teams asked different questions, but one in particular asked, which Marvel superhero do you identify with? Freddie, he chose Captain America. If you watch the movie, um, you know, he had the passion, he had the heart, you know, um, but didn't quite have like the skill and size and things to, to, to match his passion, heart, and his, and, and his character. Um, but then, you know, when they, then, they, then, you know, he goes and he still trains in the military and then they have the machine that gets all, you know, muscly and, you know, gets all, and then he becomes an elite, you know, becomes like the, the apex human. As of right now, Freddie is projected to go late second round in next month's NBA draft.